What's up guys and welcome back to the Light Platinum Nuzlocke. We are in Inhor City, which got taken over by some combies apparently. I don't know what the deal is. Everybody seems to be afraid of them, but they're they're pretty chill, honestly. You, they just kind of buzz at you. Other than that, they I mean they're blocking every damn building in this place, so we can't really do anything. And the gym leader went down back into the woods to be able to, you know, I guess figure out what's going on. So we are going to follow her. And I th we're probably going to have to battle these damn things. I don't know. I have a Growlithe in front, though. We're going to definitely need to level up Growlithe a little bit. Because we are about to battle the Bug-type Gym Leader. So, I do have a Cyndaquil on my team as well. But I kind of just feel like using Growlithe rather than Cyndaquil. I don't know. Something about starter Pokemon I don't really feel like using. So, Growlithe is pretty sweet. Plus, I already put some, some effort into training him. So, why not? Also, one thing I should do also... I'm just going to use this damn Water Stone on Betty here. <laughs> because I kind of want to have him a low tick. I don't know. Why not just evolve something? Betty's no longer really going to look like a Betty. But uh, we're going to have him a low tick. And it evolves with a Water Stone. So they were actually very kind to us in this game. And they, they allow you to evolve this thing without Pokeblocks. So that's freaking sweet. So we have a low tick now. I don't think it learns very good level up moves. So Plus, I started off with Squirtle, so my, my starter Pokemon already kind of covers our, our whole water thing. Bond is chilling over here, nice and level 18, so I don't know. I just wanted to evolve that, just because, why the hell not? And this guy was not here last time. What's up, dude? Team Steam is ready to defeat any enemy. Oh, it is a Team Steam guy, okay. So we haven't seen much of these douches, other than, like, the first episode. So, Power looking mother <laughs> Power Ranger looking motherfucker over here. <laughs> Please do the Poochiana, as I have my own dog, so let's just go for an Ember. I am a fire doge, I am much better than you. And Ember's looking like a nice two-hit KO. One thing I'm a little bit worried about <clears throat> is that I don't really have many healing items. I literally have a hyper or a max potion and a full restore, so I don't know. Hopefully after this we can, you know, figure out how to uh, go to the damn mart and buy some more shit, but Ooh, critical hit, that's right. And a bite finishes you off. Next is Shinx. We're just gonna stay in. Throw some, throw some fire at you, and Spark does a lot of damage. Ouch. Am I gonna have to use one of my... Okay, thanks for tackling. That's, tackle's fine. You can totally tackle me anytime you want. And we have defeated the stupid Grunt. Thank you for that. And, alright, so we have two more guys. Shit, man. Should I just use this other... Should I just use this potion? I don't know. I'm actually gonna run back to the Poke Center and heal up. I will cut it so you don't have to watch this, but <clears throat> I don't really want to wa waste items. Alright, so luckily the one building that they weren't blocking <laughs> is the Poke Center. The Cone B were nice to us, so yeah, and Jesus, it is raining really hard out right now for some reason. There's like thunder and lightning going on. I don't know if you can hear it, but I apologize. Anyway, let's battle this dude. Holy shit, it is like extremely loud. I'm going to close my window. Yep, false alarm, it is actually hailing. That was why it's so loud. Holy shit, I literally just peeked out and I was like, what the fuck? Well, let's go for an ember on this damn Zubat. Leech life. Oh man, that hurts so bad. Next is a Talo. Let's just go into Frostbite. Send out my traffic cone here. Icy Wind should one hit KO it. Oh yeah. And that Talo looks smug as fuck. <laughs> okay, next is Shinx. Let's go into Growlithe. Ember for the win. Two of them kills it. Hell yeah. And we go to level 18. Next is P-Dub. We'll just go into Frostbite. And holy shit, that didn't even kill it. What is life? Frostbite uses Bite. Oh yeah. Alright, two down. Looking like one to go. Sup, dude. Team Steam is ready to defeat any enemy. Cool, you got yourself a Glam Meow. Ember yo ass. Oh, Hypnosis? Fuck you. I really wish I had a Poke Flute. That would be nice, but I do not. Thank you for waking up. Next is a Zubat. Probably should have went into freaking Snow Runt, but whatever. P Dove will bring out Snow Runt this time. Damn it, these things always live. Why you do this? And we go to level 18. Not bad. So all my my three main Pokemon are nice and uh, nice and even here. I like that. I like that. All right. Next is Shinx. So I guess I should. Fuck. I guess I should switch. But I should also. I should probably use a potion just to play it safe. I'm gonna use my max potion. That's kind of scary because that means now I only have a full restore. Although, yes, we are able to kill that thing. Thank God. And we have defeated the third guy. $320, thank you. Okay, so this is like the hive. Oh, what's what's up? So we have the gym leader here. Talking to Jessica. Well, I found what was wrong with the combi, Hayden. 
Team Steam, in their drive to create new equipment to capture legendary Pokemon, were testing their inventions on these poor and defenseless combi. Those assholes. <clears throat> I doubt very much that you can defeat me, Sheila. Me, Sheila, an <laughs> admin of Team Steam. Sorry, I read that wrong. Yo, Vespaquen. She bust this girl has a Vespaquen. She should probably just, like, tell the Vespaquen to, like, tell her minions to chill out. I don't know. She's like the Queen Bee, right? Brings out a Drifblim. <laughs> we're just watching them battle. Just hopping on each other. Drifblim, you Shadow Ball. You did a great job, Vespaquen. Thanks for battling. Now it's time for the fun part. Jessica Drifblim, finish her off with Shadow Ball. Wait, what? You're going to use Shadow Ball on a freaking person? You can't do that. Get ready to face me. Okay, so we're going to hop in the way. Probably going to make out with the gym leader after this, because we're saving her life. <laughs> this is Team Steam Admin Sheila. She has four Pokemon, and she has a Drifloon, wasn't it? Wait, was that not just a Drifloon, or am I crazy? I don't know. Let's just go for Bite, though. Get that super effective damage. Oh, yeah. Two-hit KO, and we get the flinch. Hell yeah, Growlithe. That's what I like to see, buddy. <clears throat> so one more takes out the Drifloon. Get a ton of experience. Next is Poochiena. Uh, should I just, yeah, I'm just gonna stay in. Level 18 Poochiana. Ember does more than half, so fuck yeah. Oh wait, wait, what? Was that minimum damage? It's like I got max damage and then minimum damage. What, what is life? Well, a bite finishes it off. Not bad. As we go to level 19. Fuck yeah, trying to learn Odor Sleuth. Um, how about no? Next is Duskull. Okay, we're just gonna stay in and just bite everything. Hell yeah. Disable? Oh, fuck you. Luckily, I do have another Dark-type dark move with Thief. So, ha! It doesn't do as much, but... Damn. Nightshade me, bro. Well, down goes the Duskull. Is this like a ghost person? It? I mean... Okay, next is the Drift Blim. So she actually does have the Drift Blim. Freaking Drift Blim. I'm gonna go into James Bond on this one. It's level 19. Holy hell. Let's... Water Gun does a decent amount of damage. Well, that was actually a crit the first time. Holy shit. Holy shit, it was a crit. Okay, we can take that. And we actually are able to take it out with one more water gun. Yes! That was actually kind of scary. But we have defeated Sheila. Impossible! Impossible! A Team Steam admin can't lose to a brat like you. Yes, you can. <laughs> this humiliating defeat has left me speechless. I will keep coming back until I see you defeated. Thanks for saving me. You really look like a formidable opponent. I'll be waiting for your challenge at the in Horde Gym. Alright, sounds good. So, I guess we kind of resolved what was going on here. How are you combis? Are you guys happy now? Yeah, they're still just buzzing. I don't know. Let's get the hell out of here. Bees creep me out. I've actually never been stung by a bee before. Fun fact. I don't know how. It seems like literally everybody has at least been stung one time, but not me. I stay out of those motherfuckers' ways, let me tell you. I'm just going to kill some Wurmples on the way back. We probably could use some more experience, but then considering we just battled the admin or whatever, we didn't have much trouble there, so I think we'll be alright. Alright, so the bees are actually gone. Hell yeah, we saved the freaking day. <clears throat> yeah, no problem, guys. Everybody's, uh, let's actually check out some houses first. What's up? Life in the country has been very good to me. Breathing fresh air, farming, it's good life. Trainers should always have some TMs to give their Pokemon. Gives us TM09. What is that? Contains a special grass move for the use in major battles, guaranteeing your victory. Oh, really? Bullet Seed. That's not too bad, I guess. Hey, move. I want to go in there, lady. My favorite Pokemon is Eevee. Cool. Fucking move. Thank you. I love to train my Pokemon until they're as strong as possible. Would you like to trade Pokemon with me? Looking for a spinner rack for my Scyther? That's a damn good trade. But in a Nuzlocke, it would have to be a miracle if I could get a, a spinner rack as my first, my first encounter. Probably there's some in the uh, in the, the woods or whatever, though. The Academy drains a Pokemon's muscles. Today I'm watching a romance on TV broadcast directly from Central City. Good to know. Good to know. I am just walking into random people's houses, so, you know, they don't... I guess they don't have to tell me anything interesting. What's up? HMs can only be used when you have badges. I usually use protein to power up my Umbreon. My wife is out shopping at the market. Like, cool, what? You got some useless-ass NPCs. Except you don't want to miss any, though, because there could be, like, important ones, and then there's... Wait, this one's locked? What? What? I love buying items to pretty up my Pokemon. Okay, let's go to the Mart here. Let's pick up some uh, some potions, because we do not have any. Ooh, we can get Ultra Balls, too? Fuck yes. So, Hyper Potions or Max Potions really all we got. Guess I'll just get some Hyper Potions. I can only afford, like, four of them. Damn. Well... 
We have to get ourselves some more money. That's what we gotta do. In Horror City's old gym leader was a very strange guy. He talked a lot with everyone. Cool. Always loved insects. Oh, there's a freaking beekeeper place over here. Well, no wonder the bees were loose in the damn city. You literally have them right here. The fuck is this? Come beehive. <clears throat> Can I, like, use headbutt on one of these and then just piss them off? <laughs> I have a feeling I'm probably going to be able to buy some honey or something. Okay, so... This is the Inhor City University. It looks like a gym. But it is, in fact, a university. Let's go check it out. <clears throat> Let's go learn some stuff. This university is very clean and organized. I like everything about it. Cool. Welcome to the University of Inhor. Here is where the most respected teachers and students discuss and study. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. This guy looks like he's pretty smart. Many items you can use to improve your... Okay, we get an EXP share. Yes! That is amazing. Thank you. Okay, we're going to save that. I'm probably not going to give it to anybody now, but... I'm glad I found that. Hell yeah. We're studying and working on some interesting issues about the origins and abilities of Pokemon. Does anybody else give me shit here? Because I'm just looking for free stuff, honestly. You look important. Be quiet, I have to study hard. Well, sorry. This guy says he's studying. He's literally just chilling with a plant. I'm like, okay, bro. Okay, final story. We're studying and working on some interesting issues. Good to know. Hayden, just by looking at you, I can see that you have great potential as a Pokemon trainer. I'm gonna let you choose one of these three po rare Pokemon to help you on your quest. Well, shit. <laughs> okay, apparently we get the, uh... Get the Hoenn starters here, so if I say no to Trico, you don't like that one, don't worry. And then he, and he offers me, uh... He offers me Torchic. I think I actually do want Trico, though, because I don't have a Grass one yet. Should I, should I snag a Trico? I do need to go deposit somebody, though. He's not going to let me have it. Watch. Yes, I want it. Please, let me have it. Okay, we need to have an empty slot. Well, fuck me. Let's go do that. I don't know if I'm going to end up using the Trico, but I definitely want to get all of the free <laughs> Pokemon that I can, because free freaking Pokemon. And we did just get the TM for Bullet Seed, so I guess... It could potentially be useful. I don't know. Trico is always a <clears throat> always a decent thing to have. Let's deposit Melotic here. Level three Melotic. Never seen that before. <laughs> okay, back to the university. Damn it! Move. These fuckers are blocking everything. <laughs> the, I've noticed the people in this game like to block shit. All right, what's up, bro? Let me have your Trico. Yes. Hell yeah! Received a Trico and. Rare difficult to encounter, only a few people ever get one. Okay, so we can't nickname it, which is a real bummer. It's level 10, serious nature, pound, leer, and absorb. So, hey, cool. Free Pokemon are the shit. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And uh, let's go check out what's going on in the gym. Pretty much what everybody's been... Oh, gee, what the hell? Red. Hey, hey, I just got my first Zeri badge here in, in Horse City. Now I'm going after the second gym. It's said to be very hard. But first... I'll test your strength with a Pokemon battle. Well, shit. I have to battle red right now. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Looking a little bit stiff, buddy. But all right. He's got three Pokemon. He has a Pikachu. Fitting. <laughs> Double team. Fuck you. And he T-Wave. This guy is just an asshole. And then Tail Whip. More double teams. Yay, we connect, though. And down goes red's Pikachu. Hell yeah. Next is Turtwig. Level 18. Withdraw. Oh yeah, Ember doing that damage. Alright, that is a dead Turtwig. Turtwig always looks so damn happy. I love Turtwig. <laughs> and next is a Ryalu, so we're just gonna stay in here. Level 20 though, holy shit. Ember does a decent amount of damage. Counter, huh? Oh shit. This thing is designed to kill people in Nuzlocke Challenge. Now that I know it has counter, Jesus, that's scary. But it's gonna brace itself. Doesn't really matter, but we do get the burn. Hell yes. And one more Amber is going to do the trick as it goes for Foresight. You got yourself a pretty weird move set, bro. Eh, paralyzing can't move, damn it. Bite finishes off the Rylu. Hell yeah, I was trying to use counter there, that's funny. Alright, Growlithe throws to level 20 right before the gym. That's actually perfect. Thank you. That was a stroke of luck. I hope we meet again. I think you can defeat this gym leader if you fight smart. I have a freaking Growlithe, bro. Don't worry about me, okay? Very good, Hayden. I'll give you a gift for winning. HM01. Is that going to be cuts? Yes, it is. Can cut down some bushes. All right. All right, cool. So Red gets out of here. Let's go back to the Poke Center. I'm gonna need to get rid of that paralysis, and then we will check out the gym. Hopefully, there's. I mean, I don't even know what level 
<clears throat> the gym leader's gonna have, but I think we'll be alright. I have a freaking level 20 Growlithe. Okay, so this place is cool. Welcome to the Inhor City Gym. The leader of this gym is Jessica. Here's a hint on how to defeat her. Use fire attacks. Okay. Sounds easy enough. And we got some bug catchers. What's up? Bug Pokemon thrive in this enclosed climate. Sweet. So Carlos here has himself a combi. Alright, we are just going to be destroying pretty much everything in here. I'm expecting, honestly, the leader maybe have the highest would be like 25, but honestly, I don't know. Fucking Butterfree paralyzed me. You asshole. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. This ran into a... There are wild combi in this place. Okay, so technically that would be my encounter for this place, right? I, I, I think it would. I mean, it's a new area. Except Bite kills it. Yep, I probably should have seen that coming. Well, no combi for me. My Pokemon seems stronger in this gym. It's like paradise for bug Pokemon. Oh, really? Dustock's gonna go ahead and destroy your ass. 22, not bad. And a Wurmple. Really? You have a Dustox and a Wurmple. Like, what are, you, what are you doing with your life? Seriously. Okay, I'm gonna go back and heal. I don't want to be freaking paralyzed. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hello? Heal my shit. Thank you. Alright, back to the gym we go. Let's go over to the left this way. Oh, okay, nope. It's just, just a hive. Well, damn. I mean, it really annoys me how you can't run in this game. Like, what the hell? Okay, is there anybody else to battle? Just a bunch of damn combies. I guess I can battle these things. <laughs> Level 10. Quality experience. And we ran into another one. Holy shit, what's the deal? <laughs> ran into two in a row. I don't know if I ran into the hive twice or whatever. Who knows? We should be getting close. How big is this damn place? Jesus. The rent here must be just off the freaking charts. <laughs> Very large place. And we are going to grow to almost level 23. Pineco. Nice. Hell yeah. Are we there yet? Alright. We have arrived. This lady's chilling here with a Vespiquen. I wonder if she's gonna use the freaking Vespiquen. Obviously. Sup, bro. Alright. Jessica, welcome to the... I like how... I like how... <laughs> Little fucking stutter. I love how our name is just like completely plain. Usually it's like something to do with <laughs> the place, but she's just Jessica, which is cool. And she's pretty hot too. Alright, what's up? So she leads off with a Scrubby. Level 18. I get an Intimidate, which is going to be very helpful. Ember is actually a one-hit KO. Growlithe is just destroying shit right now. Next is Whirlipede. I'm just going to play it safe. Honestly, Growlithe is kind of my bread and butter right now. Oh, and I got the burn. My god. But I got poison, so that's... That's annoying. Fuck you. Protect? Oh my god. Why you do this? Doesn't even have a speed boost. Well, Bite finishes that thing off. Next is the Vespiquen. Oh, shit. I'm just gonna stay in. I was gonna go in... Oh, damn, this thing's level 22, and I'm fucking... Oh, jeez. I do have that full restore still, though. I'm gonna use the full restore, just because... I don't want this thing to pull out any funny business. Okay, Amber should, uh... Get to 8KO, probably. Oh, damn, not even. This Vespa Queen is defensive. Vespa Queen, Vespa Queen, I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, we tried to use Toxic and missed. And one more Ember takes out the B. Not even bad. I'm just literally Embering everything. Next is an Ariados. So her last Pokemon is a level 20 Ariados. So I actually, I expected a little, a little bit higher levels, but I kind of wanted to play it safe just in case. I don't know. First gym leader, kind of feeling things out. String shots. Oh no, but I'm still faster. And an Ember takes out your big ass spider. <clears throat> so that was actually really easy. They weren't lying. All you really need is a damn fire move, and you're good to go. That was really incredible, Hayden. Congratulations. Thank you. For winning, you get the plane badge. <laughs> it's called the plane badge. That's exciting. Cool. With the plane badge, you can use HMO1 cuts outside of battle to cut down trees. Also, take this TM. It's probably like Fury Cutter or something stupid. Okay, or Toxic. That's actually very damn useful. So, we just successfully got our very first gym badge. And nobody even died in the process. And these freaking combi, though, are annoying. And let's actually switch it up here. Let's put... <clears throat> I'm going to put Frostbite in front. And Growlithe does not need any training for a while now. <clears throat> he got his use, that's for sure. Alright, so... 
Not really sure at all what I'm supposed to do now, because nobody has told me a damn thing, but, uh... I wonder. Let's heal up, get Growlithe nice and healthy, and let's kind of figure out where the hell we can go from here. Can I go up, like, over to the left anywhere? At least Pachirisu looks creepy as fuck. Nothing new going on over here, just, uh, the usual B shenanigans. What about over here? What's up, guy? Getting a badge is the next stop on the road to becoming a Pokemon Master. Well, hey, I got a badge. Hey, where are you going in such a hurry? I have an item that'll help you get there faster. It's a pair of running shoes. Oh my god, fucking finally. We actually got the running shoes, guys. Thank god. Well, we seem to, seem to run a little bit weird, but hey, whatever. Okay, so that's a new route over that way. What's over here, though? It's nothing. Okay, so, sweet. We got some running shoes. We got our first badge. Things are moving around. <laughs> Moving around. Things are moving along quite swimmingly. Here we find a max potions. This is Route 404. We can catch a new wild Pokemon here. If there's any grass. What's up, guys? This dude's gonna battle me. To be a good trainer, you should always train hard every day. Don't worry, guy. I'll train hard. Youngster Hygor. Higor. Has a Starly? Okay, perfect. Catch this Icy Wind, bitch. Next is a Shinx. Icy Wind's a nice 2-hit KO. P-Dove. Oh, yeah. Bring on the flying types. This motherfucker has birds for days. Three to nineteen. Next is a tranquil. Okay, I am. I don't have enough health for that. So you know what? I'm gonna go into Bond, who has been kind of neglected lately. Honestly, I haven't trained this guy up really a whole lot since the, since like the first episode. We, to, we evolved the very first episode, which is pretty ridiculous. And every one of my Pokemon has learned bite so far. What what the hell's going on here? It's like the theme of the damn game so far. Well, uh, alright, so, let's see what we can catch here. First encounter is the only thing we can catch on this route. Hopefully it's something good. Let's add something sweet to the team. First encounter is, ooh, a spinner rack. A. Hold up. This is fucking perfect. Okay, let's go for... Hmm, what should I do? Should I... What has the... Okay. Bite's the lowest. I don't, I don't want to kill this thing, though. Frostbite, don't you kill it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so that knocks it down to about half. I'm going to... You know what? I'm just going to start throwing... Oh, fuck. I only have four Ultra Balls. Let's just try it, though. Spinner Rock can't be that hard to catch. Oh, yeah. We got it first try. Fuck yes. <clears throat> Spinner Rack. Hell yeah. The web spun by Spinner Rack can be considered... Its second nervous system and said that this Pokemon can determine what kind of prey is touching the, its web just by the tiny vibrations it feels through the web strands. Alright, we will give you a nickname, and what should I nickname this thing? Alright, I'm just gonna name this thing Spoderman because I cannot th think of a nickname. Plus, I don't think it really is that big of a deal because here's what we're gonna do. Let's go back to the PC, transfer that thing to the PC, and that one dude asked for a spinner rack, right? So we can trade him a spinner rack for a freaking Scyther. Technically, since this thing was our encounter for that route, it, it should be legal. So that is what we're going to do. Level 15 spinner rack. As much as I kind of want to use this thing, but not really, I don't know. I'd rather have a freaking Scyther. So let's go over to this house here. What's up, bro? I love to train Pokemon until they're strong as possible. Would you like to trade Pokemon with me? I'm looking for a spinner rack for my Scyther. Hell yeah, bro. I'll trade you my Spoder Man, even though it's a... It's a female, but whatever. We are getting ourselves a traded Pokemon, which is actually amazing because they grow experience faster. And look at this, look at this trading animation. Brings back the memories. <clears throat> so we just traded bug types real quick, and we got ourselves, oh, his name's Cutter. Nice. Oh, and Cutter's evolving. Fuck yes, it has the item. Oh my god. This was the best thing to happen to us, guys. Spinner Rack being my first encounter was the best shit ever, because now we have a freaking Scyther. I had no... Or, uh, <laughs> Scizor. Scyther. We had a Scyther. Freaking Scizor. Oh my god. Yes. Link standby. This is very exciting. I really like to trade Pokemon with friends. Hell yes. Check this out. Level 15 Cutter. Adamant Nature. Oh. Oh, man. Lear Quick Attack. Focus Energy in Pursuit. This thing is... Amazing. I'm probably going to train it up for next episode. I'm fucking stoked. Alright guys, thank y'all for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.